All right, sir. The troop carriers are all loaded up just like you ordered, and with the new supply lines, we're fully fresh. We can move into red territory further. Excellent. Taking that railroad was a stroke of genius if I do say so myself. Now, when you go through the next piece of territory, be very careful. You will be ambushed. It is very mountainous with a lot of hills and valleys. You're sending us into an ambush, sir? Don't worry. Lord Inu will protect you. He has protected this crusade thus far, and I have all the confidence in the world that we will continue to be protected. Sir, it still means there's going to be an ambush, though. We're going to lose men, as is the way with Inu. Now go forward with your troop carriers. You must take this territory. What's going on, gamers? It's your boy, Daily Tactics here, back with some more Army Men Civil War. And today, the Orange Crusader Army is traveling. They're making it across the Red Lands here, or at least hoping to. They recently took a railway station, so they were able to supply their convoys and get them moving again. Uh, and now they're trying to make it through this mountainous region, which is just ripe for red ambushes. The red is hurting. The red Kaiser is getting worried about these orange crusaders, worried that his entire territory might be taken over by them. So he is going to take every opportunity to hit them as hard as possible. So really this battle here, it doesn't matter if the reds win or lose as long as they kill many of these orange crusader troopers they will be happy as long as they take out a bunch of these troop transports that the oranges are utilizing they will be happy uh, but if they could secure a victory here that could be really big and seriously stall out the orange crusader army and that is entirely possible as well i mean the reds have a lot of troopers amongst these various mountain positions here poised and ready to fire at the oncoming oranges they are around every corner they are on every sandbag on every rock it is going to be a tough battle for the oranges but what the oranges do have is an advantage is that they're split up into three categories so they have these troops up here on this hillside they have troops down here in the valley and then they have troops on the flank back here all moving towards the back of the map into that position over that away so uh they also have troop transports and uh heavy mgs on top of uh some willies vehicles down there so they're pretty heavily arsenaled as well should be an interesting battle. If you guys enjoy this series, please smash that like button. Let's try and get a thousand likes in the first 24 hours. Comment down below what you think will happen in the next episode of Army Men Civil War. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Helps out the channel a ton. Helps me create more content. All right, guys, let's get into it. Alrighty then, fellas, I am really excited to see how this goes down. So we're going to actually go in slow-mo for a little bit here and press start and watch from this angle because I think this position will be the first to fire and bada-bing, bada-boom, they are rounding off some good fire here. They've got M1 Grands, machine guns, snipers, M16s. They, got, they have a wide variety of weaponry right here. A few reds getting downed really, really quickly, I believe, from this Willys uh, Jeep. That, that thing is, uh, you know, packing a pretty big gun on top so that is an effective weapon and the red infantry seems to be going mainly for the orange convoy here killing the troopers as they get out of the troop transports not even giving them a chance to fire really it's tough and uh, this uh, troop transport right here looks like it's taken some damage it might be stalled out oh no it can actually move forward not bad uh, this red position here gets almost instantly wasted and this one right here is holding this bridge and trying its best to uh, continue to fire out at the enemies that are coming at them but they are under some pretty heavy fire it's gonna be tough to hold this position outright I mean it is it is a pretty forward position uh, they've also got some troops up on this hillside up here firing away as well with their M1 Grands and M4A1s and whatnot so not a bad position uh, to be looking over and uh, you know it's resulting in a lot of orange deaths but those positions are definitely going to go down. How are the Valley Boys going? Uh, I, I noticed that some of the guys on the hill were actually firing down at the Valley Boys. It looks like they got some kills as uh, the Orange Crusader army tries to get out of their vehicles down in this ditch. It's, it's tough for the Oranges, man. Oh, and back here, we've also got these guys. I forgot about these guys entirely. And uh, these Orange Troopers seem to be doing really well. They've killed many a Red on that position. And uh, it looks like very few Orange Troopers have actually gone down. 
So uh, this backline area seems to be doing better than the rest of the battlefield entirely, which is good. The red positions are dwindling, but I mean, that's just the immediate positions. There are still plenty of fellers up here on the hillsides and things like that that are still live and firing away that are, uh, you know, definitely a danger to the Orange Crusader army. And it's going to take a little bit more doing to actually wipe them out. Just trying to adjust the... Uh, the uh, skybox here a little bit, but it's kind of hard to, uh, you know, with the hills, the different terrain, I can't zoom in any farther than that uh, unless I go lower. And then I got, I'm trying to mess with the camera position, but it's tough. It's tough. It's tough out here. Uh, that little sandbag up there, up north on the little um, hill, is, is really rounding off into the oranges down here. It looks like a lot of orange soldiers have died down this way, and they're barely even getting any fire off up at those guys. It seems like the oranges are really scattering and looking for cover when they maybe should just be firing instead. I mean, the scattering and looking for cover isn't really working out because there's not a lot of cover out here, boys. There really is not that much cover. So, I mean, just grit your teeth and fire at the enemy. That's what I would be doing. It does look like a few more reds up here have gone down, but there's still plenty firing away. All right, how we doing over here? It looks like this uh, Willie's Jeep did end up getting toasted pretty bad right there. Uh, and some of these troop transports are still coming forward, perhaps doing a bit of a mobile cover thing for the orange soldiers, you know, uh, being the vanguard, taking the shots because they're the only armor they've got, and, uh, you know, taking those hits so that maybe the, the soldiers in the back can come forward and then use these down tanks, uh, or rather vehicles, as cover. That might be the play there. I, I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, you know, if that is the play, it seems to be working pretty well. It's not a, it's not a bad play in the slightest. It's a, it's a pretty good idea, but they're still taking a lot of shots. <laughs> it's still, it's still tough out here. Uh, this little red position down here in the valley area is going strong. They're rounding off a lot of fire. We got some FN fouls in here, some grease guns. Ooh, that trooper just gets knocked in the chest. Falls to the wayside. M4A1 with the ACOG and two Springfield snipers over here. One second, guys. Sorry about that fellas, someone was at the door, um, but we back in it here. Okay, so we got these Springfield snipers rounding off some fire. This looks pretty sick actually. These guys could be really effective as long as the oranges don't take them out. Huge explosion rocks some of these troop transports up here. Oh, this poor guy burning to death. Well, he's probably already dead from the explosion, but his body is being incinerated. That's pretty depressing right there. No bueno in the slightest, dude. More orange troopers down in the valley area over here. The valley area really got butchered, and that makes sense. It does make a lot of sense. Meanwhile, these guys up here in the top area, they're doing a little bit better. They're actually cruising, crossing this little bridge here, and making some big boy plays. These oranges are, like, stuck on this hillside. I believe this is an AI dick, um, AI glitch right here, so let me just go ahead and fix that. I'll push them this way. I'll just have them march this way so they can actually get out of the glitch state and and move along a little bit here instead of being stuck oh when the AA gets stuck man <coughs> excuse me oh I've got a little cough today all right move along this way fellas move along move along like that all-american reject song it rhymes. All right, this sandbag up here with reds uh, is almost completely dead. There's actually one red left alive right behind the sandbag. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, uh, these guys up here are still doing some good stuff. They are holding really strong, and these guys down here in this valley area are doing okay. Um, they've got a 50 cal in the grass that is being... Uh, you know, pretty good overwatch fire. It looks like one of the main uh, gun feeders in it, the guy who feeds the ammunition into the gun, ended up falling, but uh, the other main guy there, the gunner himself, is still alive, able to round off some fire. He might have been the cause of a lot of these troop transport explosions because that thing actually has some pretty good piercing rounds that can do some serious damage to vehicles, especially light vehicles. To a tank, not so much, but to lighter vehicles, ooh, it can pack a big old punch. All right, the flankers around the back, here are still sort of glitched I'm just gonna let them do their own thing they can they can figure out what they want to do the troop transports back here though are moving out actually they're, they're moving towards the back of the map maybe 
causing a distraction or something like that. Maybe a bit of a sacrificial move from there. I don't know, but it seems like the main force of the oranges is now situated up top uh, at this bridge area here, and they're still sort of cruising. They've still got all of these fellas up here they got to deal with. Only one of these troopers is dead currently. There's also a flame trooper up there that could douse these guys in flames if they get close enough. That could be bad. There's also soldiers over here and soldiers down here that they got to deal with a little bit later on. And the entire nest up here that has been untouched untouched but hopefully the flankers around this side might be able to deal with them uh, and cause some serious damage let's go into uh, normal speed here for a little bit I think uh, that's enough slow-mo for the time being these orange troopers seem to be getting into some sort of a kill zone over here some troopers trying to fire out at that sandbag position over there but I think they're just at a bad distance and right now they're getting sort of sniped by snipers so they do have a sniper of their own and a few machine gunners trying to deal with that but uh, the fact that the Reds have those sandbag positions with snipers is is pretty devastating and it's going to result in I think more oranges going down uh, before that red position actually ends up getting overtaken and we're seeing that right now it's a it's a pretty bad kill zone but more soldiers running forward here actually this is a big push this is a big daddy push right here look at these guys go they're they're heading on forward look at that beautifully done they're not getting a lot of fire out but they are being brave so you got to give them credit for that are any of these reds going down up here i mean i'm seeing shots like flick on the sandbags and things like that oh there we go there's two deaths good yeah, I'm seeing shots hit, but I'm not seeing a lot of death, and, and <laughs> we need to see we need to see death. Um, there's only one flame trooper down here. That 50 cal ended up going down, so that's good news. Oh, there's also a 50 cal up here. I totally forgot about this one. This one also could have been, um, you know, the result of those explosions. That would make a lot of sense too. The flankers, once again, not really doing anything to help. Um, I'm gonna push. I think they're glitched because they can't get up this hill, so they're like. They're not understanding that that's a hill, and so they're not attacking, <laughs> or like, they're not understanding that there's, you know, you could just go around the hill, so they're, so they're not attacking, so I'm just gonna push them out this way, um, because, you know, it's the original mission they were supposed to do that they just haven't been doing, so it's really just doing what the, uh, the mission called for. More reds up here are going down, but once again, it is too slow, I think, because, the longer that position's alive, the more oranges over this way are going to die. And now this this stack of bodies that are piling up over here is is growing larger and larger. Seeing a lot of dead uh, orange soldiers up there. Not a good thing. I don't even think these guys are doing all that much because they don't really have the angle to fire downward. So I think these guys are just are just kind of hanging out. They might be shooting the valley guys down here. And there are actually a, a solid stack of valley guys down here that I didn't even realize about. Um... And a lot of these guys are under fire from uh, this hill position up here. Really, this hill position, I feel like if this red red uh, stationary position ends up going down at some point here, then the oranges are in business to win the day. That's like their, their major adversary right now. That is the big position that needs to go down big time. How do these guys keep getting stuck? Dude, like seriously, they have not attacked once in this entire battle. Not once, dude. All right, I am like completely dislodging them, and if they don't attack at this point, I'm gonna be super annoyed because this is ridiculous. You guys have been supposed to be involved in this battle for the past 20 minutes, but they just haven't. Okay, there we go. They are getting involved in the battle now. Actually, they're fighting against this position that has not been involved in the battle at all because, I mean, it was supposed to be involved in the very beginning of the battle since they were supposed to attack the flankers, but the flankers never actually committed to an assault, so that didn't end up happening. But here we go. The flankers are finally partaking in the battle after being stationary and quiet the entire time. Ridiculous. Sometimes the AI in this game, man, it really annoys me. Um, but here we go. Now they're finally leading an assault. They did take a lot of losses in that first little push, uh, but it does look like they got some red kills, and now they're suppressing the rest of the reds up here. So that's a good thing, you know? Uh, reds firing out some more, landing a few more shots on some orange troopers over there, but now the oranges are getting nice and close in here. Actually, maybe a little too close, because now uh, some machine gunners and snipers over this way are able to actually fire at them from the this angle they are now at range so these troopers who are on the off side are actually getting hit by some of that incoming fire honestly if I were these guys just grenade this nest take out those guys then pivot and hit these guys probably the best bet in my opinion all right how are the oranges doing up here it's a slaughterhouse I am seeing very few oranges actually alive over this way the main 
four seems to have gone down pretty devastatingly. Um, and the Reds over here are still very much alive, and the Valley Troopers are also very much dead, it seems like. Um, in fact, there's like very few troopers alive up here, only some stationary tanks, it seems like. Or, not tanks, but vehicles. So, why don't we go ahead and evacuate all the vehicles? It seems like there's a lot of troopers just sort of hanging out inside the vehicles, not doing anything. Um, and there's, there's literally zero point in that, so... Why don't we just go ahead and get the drivers out of these vehicles and actually force them to attack? Well, actually, here we have a we have a jeep going in. It died almost immediately, but it did go in. That did happen. <laughs> How are the oranges doing over here? Looks like they've taken more losses, and they still haven't taken out this position. Orange troopers right now, not very impressive. <laughs> not very impressive in the slightest. All right. We'll evacuate these vehicles, too. There's just no point in having the troopers just sit in the vehicles not doing anything. So you might as well turn them into infantry. And we'll send these troopers forward this way. Um, I think there are still more vehicles over here that have not been uh, evacuated. So I'll just go ahead and do that. It's usually just a driver or two. And there we go. I think that's all of the uh, vehicles evacuated. Let's send all of the troopers forward so we can finish up the rest of this battle. These guys might actually be stuck. I, actually, these guys are stuck on that side of the road because the sandbags sort of chopped them off and they can't move on too steep of ground, so I think those guys end up getting stuck right there. All right, we actually have um, a lot of fire coming down from up here from this MG, and it is just spraying over these orange soldiers over here, and a lot of them are dying as a result. These are the drivers of those trucks coming in, the driver squad, under a lot of fire. It's a bad time. And these oranges are still fixated on this little sniper's nest up here that they have yet to be able to take out. We got a sniper of the oranges actually firing out this way. It doesn't seem like he's actually landed a single shot on these guys because that sniper should one-shot kill, but it seems like he's missing a lot. One of the gunners on this red uh, MG over here has ended up going down, but the other one is still alive. Not that it's really doing all that much because it seems like the... Um, Reds on this opposite hillside are pulling most of the weight of the Reds currently, and that MG doesn't even really need to come into play from what it looks like. A really bad time to be an orange soldier right now. This is a bad battle for them. Another MG over here. This guy's not even in any cover, but he's just spraying him down. Not good, dude. And to think, the oranges started with like three times as many troopers as the Reds did. Where are you going, buddy? What, what are you doing? Well, look at this guy. He's just crawling up the side of the mountain. <laughs> that could be profitable if he drops a grenade in on them. Hey, let's watch this guy. He's just crawling. He's just shuffling along. He could just drop a grenade down on those guys' heads. Just absolutely KO him. But he's going this way. Leave it to the AI to have an opportunity and completely not do anything with it. <laughs> he's still crawling this way. He's just shuffling along. All right. These orange soldiers over here are still going, still firing away at this nest over this way. It looks like more reds have died over here, but still not enough. There's still a lot of them left alive. All right, where'd this orange guy go? Oh, he's just chilling right here. He did nothing with his opportunity here. <laughs> he's just chilling. <laughs> bruh. Massive bruh moment. These oranges over here still getting absolutely dominated by these reds. At least they killed a few of these reds over this way, but... They're still pinned down, and these reds are still alive. Hey, this guy ended up dying, so they took out that MG right there. It's not terrible. I mean, the oranges are making some progress in some parts of the battlefield, but I just don't think it's enough, you know? More reds over here firing away. And these guys are just in such good positions. Hey, they took out this blockade here. I'm actually surprised this blockade right here, this still has a trooper alive on it, and this thing still has uh, Troy Adams on it. Interesting. Has this flamer done anything? No. I don't think he's got the angle. I think if he tried to fire, he would, you know, scorch his entire team right there. Where did that orange on the hillside go? Oh, I think he went this way and immediately got shot. He did not do anything. Oh, or maybe this is him up here and he tried to go over and immediately got shot. Why didn't he just grenade? If he just grenaded from the other side of the hill, he could have gotten like five kills in one. Would have been a beast moment. All right, well, we've got one squad there, one squad here, and then one squad here. This squad is actually kind of interesting. These guys could do something here because they're actually kind of moving in on a nice little flank. They're getting shot at now, but 
It's from up there, so if these guys intervene and actually grenade up there and do something, they could help him out. Oh no! Oh, I think the flamer... Was it this flamer? He just died. I think that flamer actually scorched these guys. Oh, maybe it was this guy. Wait, do you have a kill? Let's see. No, he does not have a kill. So I think it was this guy. He scorched these guys. Didn't get all the kills, but he got one or two. Um, and then they responded by killing him. Interesting. Interesting. Wow. This guy's got 13 kills. This guy's got one. This guy's got one. This guy's got one. This guy's got two. This guy's got one. Um, let's see. This guy's got 10. Dang. This guy's got six. This guy's got none, 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 none. There's a few with kills. There's a few with kills here. This guy's got four. This guy's got none. This guy's got none. This guy's got four. I think a lot of the strong guys up here died. This guy's got none. All right. Orange is still firing away in sort of the same position over here. Still caught on this hillside. Unable to really do anything. They're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. Oh, these oranges over here are actually moving up a little bit, trying to support. That's a good thing. Oh! Oh, it was this guy up here with the flamethrower. He just roasted two more orange soldiers. This guy's still luckily alive, but that's it. Those other two just got roasted. Holy cow. That's a yikes from me, dog. Oh, and these oranges over here, man. They're trying their best, but they're under a lot of scrutiny. They're under a lot of fire. These oranges did nothing. <laughs> Might as well squad the last of these fellas up. I don't know, man. I, I think this is going to be an orange L. A big fat orange L. Alright, we might as well do one last hoorah push. Put them behind cover right there. Yeah, it didn't really help. Actually, it did kind of. They're getting some shots off. And then we'll rush these guys in on the flank to try and help out a little bit. But I think that's about it. I mean, the Reds just have such good stuck-in positions. Feel like a red victory here. Wasn't that abnormal. It's something I could sort of see happening. It uh, it definitely does make sense. All right, we got like four more oranges here. Might as well have them like charge the position or something. Move out, boys. Let's see what you guys got. Fire away. Taking a lot of heat. A couple of them go down. One last one alive. Whoa, it's hard to see in there. He's firing away with the FN foul. He's getting some shots off. He might have gotten a kill there. I think he might have died. He did die. Okay. The red sees the day, and it's a it's a dominant victory here. I mean, look at all the yellow. Yellow is the orange, red are the reds. Um, there's a lot of orange deaths on the field. The orange crusaders took a lot of deaths. All over the map, really. All over the map. Oh, I forgot about this weird little troop transport flank. They all died. Um, the reds did take some losses, but like only a fraction of what the oranges did. The Reds did so well. They hold so firm, dude. They still have so many machine gun nests set up. So this was an impressive battle. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to comment down below if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And smash that like button. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.